Hey guys, and welcome back to Dead Space. When we last left off, we were going to engineering to repair the centrifuge. I know that. I remember these things. Apparently. Right, well. Looks like we've got one hell of a mess here, haven't we? God damn. Right, okay, well. Let's start harvesting up the local area for goodies whilst we take our flamethrower for a walk. Walk softly and carry a flamethrower, apparently. Whoa, dude, look at this. Look at this. This just looks so cool. Man, they did such a good job of this. It is kind of hard to see all the floating little goody two-shoes bits and bobs for us to pick up but you know that's fine if we get like 50% of them we're doing well my IQ software has screwed up so none of my macros on my mouse work so that's fun but that's okay adapt and survive oh hello I can hear griblies I can hear griblies oh Definitely Gribbly's close. Now, hello. Ooh. He's a dark Gribble too, which means he's pretty, pretty powerful. That's all right. Now, very rarely, and I mean very rarely, is there one of those. It just might. Headphones a minute, because they're deafening. Yeah, very rarely are these guys out on their own. Really? Can we get anything from you? Can we get a generous donation to the cause? I guess not. Right, so attach clutch generator modules to restart the centrifuge. Well, okay. How hard can that be? I guess we're about to find out. Come on, what do you got for me? Cash. We like cash. Cash is always a nice little uh, Brucey bonus. So there's one of the clutches. What else have we got going on around here? Any other goodies hidden away? Lots of explosives. I mean, that's cool. We like our explosives. Explosives and engineering kind of go hand in hand. Kind of. In fact, they kind of go very well in hand. Oh. Something is making a noise. Ah, it's probably nothing. Right, let's start engaging this machinery. So. Now, obviously, this clutch is spinning a little bit too quickly for my liking. And I can't remember what button fires. There we go. Stasis. Got ya. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Now. Generator module attached. Generally, every time you achieve something, you'll get a wave of griblies coming at you. Because video game. You say generally. Alright. Games. Nope, there we go. Told you. Every time you accomplish an objective. Enemies. Right, where have you gone, you gribbly little bastard? Come on. No need to be all hidey. I've got this surround sound in these headphones, but I've got to be honest, it's not great. Definitely not as good as actually having proper surround sound. Now, where are they? I don't remember having so much trouble locating enemies in the original game. Ah, there he is. But, I could be wrong. Oh, he's still going. Welcome to the land of plenty. 
cool. Now, where did I see that? There we go. That an oxygen tank. Good thing about those is they sell for a pretty penny. And let's be honest, we're probably never going to need one. Right. Now. Let's get you moving. Where's that explosive bottle? We might need that. No, oh, don't go. Come on. Don't burn that clutch out. Get it to about there. Right, how do we use the... Right, it is that. It's so annoying, like, having all these macros that suddenly don't work because your software shits the bed. But it's alright. That's okay. Alright. I guess we should probably get out of the way. Nope, we gotta go beep the boop. So, if I was a giant button, where would I be? I think it was up here, wasn't it? We do like fondling giant buttons. Oh, over the other side, I think. Just gonna take our gas canister for a walk as well. Just because. Seems to be the right thing to do. I'm pretty sure when we fire up the centrifuge, it's going to remove the atmosphere in this room. Also looks really cool. Excellent. Right, manually ignite the engines. Alright, so we're ma we are making progress. That's cool. That's very cool. So where are we going? Alright, we're done here, I guess. Yeah, the default buttons in this game definitely could be better. You do want to remap them to your mouse. Um, Looks like the centrifuge is back online. All that's left is restarting the engines, right? Which is Ready certainly a problem right now. Okay. So, we need to be a little bit careful here. Because we can get squished. <laughs> the game does like to squish us. So, we're going to air slightly. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, yeah, the flamethrower. It doesn't work, does it? But, you know, that's fine. Because he just got sliced. Forget, the flamethrower doesn't work in a vacuum. We definitely need to remind ourselves of this because I feel it's an important thing to remember. You got anything for me, dude? Thank you. No need to be stingy. Alright, let's get the old plasma cutter back out. The expendable weapon. Run! Actually, I don't like that. I don't think we're going to make it. Let's not take chances. That's what Desert Strike taught us. To never take chances. Come on. There we go. And we do want to go this way. Because, if I remember, there's a Brucey bonus over here. <gasps> there isn't! Okay. There was when I played this game um, on my first time. Unless that was a Brunus... A Brunus? Yes, a Brunus. A Brucey bonus uh, on the floor above, maybe. Which it could be. Alright. Oh, hi. You're not exactly the bonus I was looking for. I mean, I'll take it. Sure. But I would have rather had some kind of useful bonus. Not just a derpy dickhead. Alright, oh, hi, hello. Getting a little bit touchy-feely now. It's fine. Can we see your bulbous... ...unmentionables, please? There we go. Just gonna keep shooting him liberally. Yeah, that made you think twice, didn't it? 
donkey's ass. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, we're still getting those annoying stutters, which is unfortunate. Evening. Oh, hello. I guess he didn't want to come out and play. No testicular fortitude. That's the trouble. All right, what have we got? Don't think there's any obvious rooms or anything that we've missed fine. Yeah, so apparently in the original release of this game the flamethrower was rubbish. Um, it's now apparently the second best weapon in the game. So that's nice to see. We do have a power node. Can we actually upgrade anything though? We actually can. And what does that do? Firewalls burn for much longer. Yeah. Wouldn't mind to actually upgrade the damage that it does as well because, you know, I like my flamethrower doing maximum damage. But whatever. It's fine. Oh, shit. Weren't we going to upgrade the force gun? Thinking about it. Or the contact beam, I should say. Oh. Contact beam could use a few upgrades because that thing is the unsung hero. It's so weird not having to be able to push any of my macro buttons. Ugh, it's like being handed a different controller to use. You're playing the same game, but none of the buttons do what you want them to do. Son of a... That's okay. We shall overcome and adapt to this n frightening new situation. Because that is what we do around these parts. Anyone? Ah. Isaac, fuel storage is unlocked. It'll give you access to the engine chamber. Yay. We like playing around with the engine chamber. Now, what do we actually have on us? Yeah, we've clawed back. Ah, oh, we've got two of these. Never need these things. Complete waste of time. Uh, and we do have you. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, storage. I don't have a huge amount of storage. Like, ah, oh, see, look, we sold it. Don't want to sell it. Want to move it to the inventory. Ah, oh, that's really. <laughs> that is actually really annoying. But you know, whatever. I guess. Got so many of these. My word. Okay. Well, better to be prepared, I suppose. Do we drop a save? Do we need to drop a save? Not convinced we do need to drop a save. But we shall drop a save. Just for the sake of it. Okay. Now, fuel storage. Fuel storage is back here. There we go. This is a very nice compact flamethrower as well. Oh, hi. Entering zero gravity. Yeah, so I can see. You have anything for me, sir? No? Did his head come off? Right, he's got a strong neck. I can approve of such things. Hey, Hammond. I cracked the secure files. DC was here for more than just a mining claim, huh? What do you mean? This outbreak started on the colony after the miners dug up some artifacts. Something alien. That's impossible. <gasps> but it would explain why Aegis 7 is meant to be off limits, right? Earth got orders. When the miners found the artifact, they reported hallucinations, paranoia, suicides. But the Ishimura brought this marker on board anyway. Like that was a plan. Wait. The marker? Okay, back up. Where's this marker now? In cargo. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Starting to sound a little bit suspicious now. Very suspicious. 
So, we've got these spinning blades of death. That's handy. We do like spinny blades of death amongst our ships. After all. Come on. There you go. Come on. There we go. That is a very efficient weapon. I mean, what was that? Like, eight units of uh, fuel to kill it? Very nice. Yeah, whereas when you think about, um, you know, the structure of the ship, kind of makes a little bit of sense. You know, it feels sort of at home. Uh, in fact, let's just turn these fans off. You know, whereas with Callisto, none of it made sense. Let's turn these fans off. Definitely didn't make sense. Like, why were there so many, like, you know, hazards everywhere? Like, grinding gears that were literally just laid out in the open. I'm sure there is stuff down here. I'm sure there's supplies. Maybe not. Maybe not on this difficulty. Ah, oh, well, whatever. You know, and then there's all the walls of spikes that were just lethal. Like, it, it just felt like a video game. You know? Which isn't really what you want when you're trying to build a uh, horror atmosphere. Oh, hi. Well. That's pretty gnarly. This room is really loud as well. I remember that. Yeah, I did wonder why that room was so loud. So this is where we originally get the flamethrower. Can't remember what, what did that say? Red up or something, ready for work. Uh, but play with fire and get burned. Be careful when handling. Yeah. Hey, fella. You did not have a good time, did you? The way the light is diffused around all that organic matter. Like the light is literally like shining through. A subsurface scattering right before our eyes. Very cool effect. Oof. I don't know about you, Isaac, but I think we're in the bowels of some nasty beast. Well, that's okay. Nope. Spoopy. Ooh. Hello. These pulsating masses of flesh. Let's try and cut this tumorous growth off where we wherever we can find it. My god. Yeah, walking through this ooze kinda slows you down as well, so you need to be mindful about that. Anything to find? Any loot? Look at this. We're really in the bowels of the, the infection now. So we've got level 3 door there. That's cool. We'll come back and grab that one later. Because we want as much loot as we can get our little grubby hands on. Oh. 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 Stop. Engineering log. My last log. Temple reporting. I can't raise anyone on Rigby. I think my team is gone. I found the Kinesis module that someone used to bust the centrifuge. Burned out. Who would sabotage the Ishimura at a time like this? I'll report to the bridge. If anyone's left. And then mm. I'm finding Elizabeth and getting us the hell off this ship. So somebody else was sabotaging the ship from within as well, apparently. That 
doesn't really bode well. Yeah, this ship was really kind of pulling in the wrong direction. Lots of people with their own agendas. No wonder this thing sank like the Titanic. So these guys, I mean, I'm not sure what these um, necromorphs really serve. What kind of purpose they have? Do they warn the others? Are they uh, are they just not fully absorbed into the mass yet? I don't know, but they're kind of interesting. We do find like creepier ones later on that have a, a, a much more obvious purpose. Up. Oh. Ah, these little bloody things, right? You can't really get those with the plasma cutter. You can kill a couple of them, but the rest will get you. So to have this flamethrower uh, makes Titan a happy boy, to be honest. Very happy boy. Okay, so what have we got here? Hey, more credits. Credits also make Titan a happy boy. Because credits mean more weapons of mass destruction. Ooh. You alright there? Unfortunate. Well, nothing we can do from now. More line packs. Yeah, we're getting a lot of these line packs. I don't know. I was unimpressed with the line gun. Um, maybe we just... Oh, hello. Didn't even see you there. Sorry. Should have paid you a bit more respect. But I genuinely didn't see you. Yeah, maybe the line gun kind of comes into its own a little bit later on when you start getting some kind of end level upgrades to it. That makes sense. Oh, hi. Definitely want the flamethrower on this guy. Now these things, they will actually pop. And you'll get all those gribbly little buggy bastards coming at you. Um, unless you surgically detach a lot of their limbs. Or, use the flamethrower, apparently. So, yeah. We are all about the flamethrower lifestyle. I mean, think about it, right? What cannot be co accomplished with the cleansing righteous flame? Not much, to be honest. And you seem to get a real good bang for your buck from um, an ammo standpoint. Yeah, like one little lick of flame seems to pretty much get the job done. Right, any more for any more. I'm trying to want to... Did we go in here? We did not go in here. Gold semi... Hello. Sorry, buddy, but this is for the best. I'm sure you would agree if you still had all of your faculties. True, maybe we didn't have to burn you to death, but... Well... We need to make sure the job's done, don't we? Right, so how are we looking? Looking pretty good, actually. Haven't been in there either, have we? Nope. Hey! Stasis recharge. Anyone want to jump out and introduce themselves? No? Okay. That's fine. Come up. Come yeah, up. There we go. Oh, hi. Have some cleansing righteous fire. There you go. What do you think of that? 
Nice. Oh, God, I love this thing. I absolutely love this thing. Maybe we should try its alt fire at some point. See how that bad boy goes down. Hello? Oh, really? Yeah, that is the way to do it. So you just got an achievement for something. I'm not 100 sure what. Yeah, because... Like, pretty much every time you pick up a tank of flamethrower fuel, that's 25 units. It's a lot of fuel, man. We're on it, we're on it, we're on it. Don't panic. Nobody panic. Everybody always panics. Engine room. Control room. Error. Days without incident. Error. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure there's an incident happening today. Just saying. So, we need to go through there. Let's just have a little recce through here. Pretty sure we're going to need to do... Oh, more flamethrower fuel. Pretty sure we're going to need to do uh, something up here later. It is unfortunate about these stutters that we're getting. Just a PC thing, unfortunately. Ah, look at this. Nope. Oh no! Hey, look at this! Yeah, this does just bring us back full circle. Cool. I like the Metroidvania style uh, to the gameplay. I like the fact that everywhere kind of just leads back on itself. Um, right. We are getting dangerously full up. I'm even thinking about selling a couple of these. Just because. Just a few. We, I mean, we have so many of these. You know what, it's fine. Let's clear up some inventory space. Although, to be fair, we have plenty. Um, so what do we have? We've got force energy. Now, we don't have the line gun on us anymore. Um, do we? We've got, the for we've got the line gun, the force gun. Oh, we do have the line gun on us. Ah, oh, right. No, we were going to switch it out, weren't we? Did the game not... Did we not save the game? I'm confused. Because we were going to... Ah, right, yeah. We were going to change the line gun out for the contact beam. I was wondering why we were still getting ammo for it. Let's do that now. Move to storage. And, I mean, I guess we could sell these line racks. I guess. Flamethrower fuel. We've just got mad stacks of that. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to get the contact beam out. Because apparently that is a mean son of a bitch. And we don't have any upgrades for it. Or do we? Contact beam upgrade. 12 G's. So we'll pick up that, and I guess we'll grab a node to get things rolling. Okay. Okay. And then, my pedigree chums, we're going to save the game. Didn't we have... I'm confused. I thought we set up the contact beam and everything. Maybe we didn't. I'm not sure. But it's all good. It's all gravy. Let's have a look at this contact beam. So, primary fire. A heavy energy projector that launches a continuous lethal beam. Ooh. 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 Okay. You heard it here first, folks. Apparently. So, thanks for watching, guys. When we come back, 
we're gonna try and get our contact beam upgraded because this thing sounds like it could be pretty gnarly and uh, we're all about that life around here so till next time guys thanks for watching